us would be quite satisfied if we won a major pageant title. But becoming Mr. South Africa 2012 just wasn't enough for Andrew Govender. He's now carving a highly successful career in Los Angeles, but he does visit Josie periodically, which is where Zaki met up with him. Do you remember when I was a little girl and you told me that falling in love was something magical, something you can't control? It just happens. I'll probably never see you again. So let me say, you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in real life. Free State is a recently released feature film that marks the big screen debuts of both its leading actors, Andrew Govender and Nicola Breitenbach. Set in South Africa in the apartheid era, it's a story of a random act of kindness that leads to forbidden love. And the film is a joint production by local filmmaker Salas de Yocha and producer Rajiv Tawadkar. The Sunday sun was warming up at Josie Mall and Zaki was on Andrew's trail. After a hectic week, a Sunday lion can be so tempting. But this Sunday, I had one of the best reasons to get out of bed, and that's the fact that Andrew Govender is back in town. Ziad Nanabai was sizing up his customer when Zaki arrived. It is so good to see both of you. Ziad, how are you? Hey, I'm good. You came just in time. I was just getting measured for my tailmade suit here. Amazing. So what do you have in mind for Andrew, for his body and for the sort of event he's looking to go to? Well, Andrew has a really good physique. He's tall with very broad shoulders. So this lends itself to the perfect suit form. So what I have in mind is to pull it in a little bit at the waist to accentuate that particular feature. If you good folks will excuse me. Please. Of course, of course. Andrew, you're based in LA. What are you doing back in Joburg? Uh, well, I'm here for the premiere of my new movie, Free State, which I'm mm. super excited about. It's the first movie where I have a leading role. That is exactly what I want to talk to you about. Shall we? Sure. How has winning Mr. South Africa 2012 prepared you for this part of your career? Firstly, winning Mr. SA was just a really humbling experience that just allowed me to get more into the industry. It allowed me to go to Mr. World and represent not just my country um, on an international platform, but also the Indian community. Andrew, can you give us a brief synopsis of Free State without giving too much away? The movie is about an Indian man who falls in love with a Caucasian girl during apartheid. Um, the movie is a period piece. It's in the 1970s. So I don't want to give too much away, but that's at the heart of it, that's what it's about. And can you give us a brief background of your character? So I play the character of Ravi, and he's just a guy who's just very diligent. He's tipping around the idea of being with this girl because he doesn't know if he can, because it is illegal, but he falls in love with her. He's just a really cool dude, um, and, and I think the audience is going to root for him. And what was this experience like, playing the lead in a feature film? It was an incredible experience. Um, I got to work with some A-list South African talent. It was a little overwhelming at first. Uh, you know, I kind of made sure I went for tons of acting classes and I really worked on the script a lot to make sure that I was able to give a great performance. What has the response been like to Free State? It's been fantastic. I mean, the movie has gotten into numerous film festivals across the world and uh, it's won just many awards. And what do you miss most about home? First thing that comes to mind would have to be South African food. Well, I've got you covered, Andrew, because I'm going to let you cook for me. Well, let's get going. <laughs> I'm so spoiled. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Congratulations. Good Thanks a lot. Much. Thanks a lot for the suit. I'm sure I'm going to look great. <laughs> Got another hand? Well, here you go. So I'm Andrew's kitchen slave? Um, I kind of prefer the term assistant to the chef, but uh, we can go with that too. Domestic goddess, I'd like to think. What is your favorite thing to cook, Andrew? You know what? The thing is, I try to stay as healthy as I can these days. So broccoli, sweet potato, chicken breasts, uh, pretty boring stuff. Well, now I have to know, what is your guilty pleasure? I enjoy pizza. I love pancakes. I love roti. I mean, it's pretty awesome as well. Um, you know what? Just anything that's not healthy. So I, I think that kind of sums it up. Just plating up doesn't seem to be that uh, good, but I yeah. think it's all in the in the taste for me anyway. Uh, this is kind of missing a little bit of the chicken, so this is going to be yours. Um, <laughs> that mine. These are mine. Um, Thank you very wait, much. you're not going to help to clean up. <laughs> Andrew, going back a few years, how did you get spotted by your first modeling agent? You know, I was just walking around a shopping mall with a few friends, and 
An agent came up to me and said, hey, would you kind of like consider doing some modeling? And I just thought that was kind of cool. And, and I thought, well, it'd be a great way to make extra money. What is the role that your family has played in your life and career? Well, they've just been incredibly supportive. I come from a really academic background. So to know that they support me in modeling and acting has just been really um, incredible. So you matriculated with six distinctions and have an honors in actuarial science. Have you ever thought about giving up your career and just pursuing modeling and acting full time? No, because I don't think it's really necessary. I'm very fortunate that I'm able to juggle my day job with uh, my acting and my modeling and at the end of the day kind of what I do with that is it's really just a hobby for me you know it's great to have dreams but it's good to be smart about it as well what are some of your hobbies and pastimes I enjoy you know gymming going hiking anything in the outdoors you know just kind of chilling out with friends as well and let's not forget about traveling I mean I enjoy traveling and I think I'm pretty much my next movie I'd love to be a pilot so a little birdie told me about your love of traveling so we're gonna take you flying in an actual plane don't worry, I will not be doing the flying. <laughs> okay, let's go. Zaki had arranged a flight back to the golden age of aviation in a pair of vintage Tiger Moths. Andrew, I'm in the yellow one because it's my favorite color. These really are golden oldies. Can you give us a brief history of these vintage planes? This particular model of Tiger Moth first flew in 1931 and entered production in 1932. So they've been around for a couple of years and they're used to train the World War II pilots. So Simon, are you going to let me take you for a ride? <laughs> well, I guess, Jason, we're going to be going on the red plane then. Yeah, the red one, because it's faster than the yellow. Wow, you heard that, Sakia? The red <laughs> is going to be faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, can you I'm a little bit reach? short. Here we go. So I'm go. going to, you can give me your hand. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, cool. Ooh. <laughs> Woo! I'll see you in the sky. Tiger moths are film stars in their own right, with appearances in Out of Africa and The English Patient, to mention just two multi Academy Award winning movies. All too soon, it was time to return to Earth. That was wow. Pretty awesome trip. Got to see the whole Johannesburg and uh, that was pretty cool. So how was your debut as a pilot? Did you see that landing? <laughs> I think I did a pretty damn good job. Right? <laughs> Andrew, what challenges have you come across as an Indian actor in South Africa and Los Angeles? Firstly, you need to understand that the film industry in South Africa is just very small as it is. So I think being Indian on top of that has its own challenges, um, which is really unfortunate. Um, the best advice I can give to aspiring actors would probably, probably be just to develop your own content. Because that way it's a foolproof way to ensure that you're going to be in something, right? Um, and as far as trying to do stuff internationally is concerned, that's always very tricky, but I think it can be done. And at the end of the day, you got to go, you got to go pursue your dreams. And then you never know, you may be the next Charlie's there are. Well, I definitely hope to see your name on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You and me both. <laughs>